Welcome back to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. As you know, we're in the Caribbean doing scuba diving. If you haven't caught the previous episodes, go back and check them out. In the first episode, we went to the Grand Cayman. In the next episode, we went to Roatan. And in this episode, we're going to Belize. We have to say the first two dive excursion companies were excellent, but this last one was horrible. We'll get into all the reasons in this episode, but the one thing of importance is the dive master swam away and left me alone in the ocean. I had to find my own way back. So stay tuned for that. All that coming up in this episode of Cruising Off Duty. Now, we aren't usually one to complain. In fact, the last two dive excursion companies we raved about, so it's not like we're super picky, but I just don't want to die when I dive. So every other dive excursion, we go to a dive shop and we try on our gear before we get on the boat. This one actually came to our cruise ship and picked us up right there and had gear just with our names on it based on our sizes. And of course, nothing, nothing fit. I mean, we started to have to swap everything with each other. My BCD was too small, someone else's was too big. My fins were too small, someone else's were too big. So we had to switch and swap until we finally found stuff that fit. So we weren't off to a great start, but the boat ride out to our dive location was perfectly fine. So I was thinking, you know, one bad step does not make a bad company. But then when we got to our dive site, things started to go downhill again. Quite clearly in the dive, you're gonna see how our dive master wasn't very attentive. He never really tapped his tank to get our attention. If he wanted to move, he would just start swimming and assume everybody would just follow him. But obviously if you're filming, sometimes you're not looking at him. So a tank tapper would have been helpful. And that's exactly how I got stranded. The other thing is, when you got back on the boat after the first dive, they didn't actually call out our names like every other excursion company. They just counted heads and said, yeah, we got everybody and they'd move to the next spot. That's how you lose people. But I have to say that Belize is somewhere I would definitely dive again. The coral was very vibrant and colorful. Well, it wasn't quite as big and grandiose as Roatan, but maybe it was just a dive site they took us to, but well worth going back to. So let's get on with the dive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, this is where it gets a bit scary for me because I get stranded in the middle of the ocean by myself. So I'm going to leave the audio and this unedited footage going to show you how I react and the fact that there's no tank tapper heard. So the story is this, everybody's swimming around kind of behind me, looking at fish, filming or doing whatever they're doing, and I take the opportunity to film. As you can see, there's no canyons or anywhere for me to hide, so I'm in plain view of the dive master. What I find out from Janice is all of a sudden the dive master just starts swimming back towards the boat. Janice, who had salt water stinging her eyes, started to swim with the group, never noticed I wasn't with her. I'm so focused on filming that I don't notice everybody's left. And by the time I do, and you'll see the reaction in a moment, I just start, well, panicking a bit, because I turn around and everybody is gone. I can't see anybody in any direction. You can see off in the distance, there's a bit of silt. You can still see quite far, so it shows you how far they went before I finally realized they weren't there. But I couldn't see anybody. After swimming in circles and then swimming in the direction I believed they went, which would have been behind me, I couldn't see anybody and I was worried I was swimming in the wrong direction. So I decided to go to the surface after doing my safety stop so I could find the boat and make sure I'm swimming in the right direction. So right about now you notice that the camera's spinning around and that's because I'm spinning around trying to figure out where everybody went because last I saw they're right behind me. So needless to say I'm panicking a bit here because I'm, I'm you know, wondering how did they leave me. I don't even remember to turn the GoPro off, so you sort of realize the GoPro is spinning on the end of my wrist. Sort of looks like at one point I'm getting attacked by a shark, but that didn't happen, thank God. But now I'm trying to figure out, should I swim in one direction? And that's actually what I do do. I start to swim in a direction behind me, which is, I believe, the only direction they could have gone. And I swim for a while and I still don't see anybody. So that's when I decide I've got to go to the surface to make sure I can see the boat, to make sure I'm swimming in the right direction. I don't want to run out of air and be like way far away from the boat. Eventually I find the boat and I get back there. Janice was scolded for being a bad buddy, but as she'll explain in a second, she had salt water stinging her eyes from a leaky mask and she just swam away when she followed the dive master, didn't realize I wasn't behind her until she was almost at the boat. And then she realized <laughs> a little too late. I found out from Janice when she got to the boat, she noticed I wasn't there and told the dive master and the dive master did not swim back in the direction that we come from to look for me. He literally got on the boat. I guess he assumed I'd make my own way back. Not somebody I would ever dive with again. Okay, we did our scuba diving here in... In Belize. Belize, almost forgot where we were. Now we're taking this shuttle quickly to shore. She wants to do a little shoppy like a shoppy. Little peak. And I'm gonna do a little droney droney. Yeah, so. our, our scuba tender picked us up at the boat and dropped us off at the boat, so we didn't actually yeah. get to go in Belize. So now we're riding an empty tender back. Yeah, because everybody else I'll show you how empty it is. Hold on, let, let me flip it around. Us, the crew, the two other passengers. We got this hole and it's a double decker, we're on the top deck. But like Jana said, they picked us up at the boat, our scuba excursion, and went right to the dive site and then brought us back to the boat, which is obviously our fear. And that's unusual. Usually you get to go to shore and then the scuba company picks you up yeah. there. And it's a 20 minute tender ride to shore. Yeah. And it's already after 3 o'clock, last tender back is 4.15. 4 so we might so have we're, 20 minutes out Yeah. Ride. I have just enough time to do one flight But we flight get a fun boat ride though. Yeah. Yeah. So but Janice gets 20 minutes to shop while I get 20 minutes to fly my drone. Yeah. And that's it. Turn around and come back. Another <laughs> 20 minute ride. It's beautiful. Beautiful day. Now this scuba wasn't as good. Um, it was good, I didn't but love, it wasn't I loved as good. yesterday. Yeah. And this was okay, but there, there was room for improvement in a couple areas. Yeah. I didn't like how disorganized it was. It's very disorganized. In fact, At I got first. lost. So say what happened? Getting on the boat, they, they mixed up our names. Yeah. They gave him the medium BCD and me the large. Everything so was screwed up. Wrong size fins. Wrong size fins. Us, you know, and, then they, and then they and then they lost me. I'm we're swimming. There's only what six of us with our guide. Yeah. And eight. eight Seven, okay. Eight, eight, eight people. And it's not that hard to keep track of eight people. So we, they were all swimming and looking at coral. So I started filming this one coral, and I filming filming watching little fish. I turn around and they're gone. I can't see anybody in any yeah. direction. And I swam in circles for a while, trying to figure out, like, maybe I could see maybe a fin or something of somebody, figure out which direction they're going. Couldn't see anybody. So eventually I had to do my safety stop, go to the surface and find the dive boat. And I get back there and ask Janice, why didn't you keep an eye I'm on your buddy? Bad buddy. Yeah, her eyes were stinging. So, uh, for a while there. But the, the dive master should not have swam back to the boat without me. So I just felt like I swam away. I was stationary. So I got back to the boat by myself, which was a bit unnerving. So anyways, 
everything it was kind of really disorganized and not really super safe not as good as uh roatan for coral but still pretty good better than grand cayman yeah so with grand cayman our dive masters were the best yeah dive good. masters were awesome in grand cayman roatan were also good uh, this place not so not so good yeah. but what can you do all right talk to you later as we mentioned with the 20 minute tender ride in and 20 minute tender ride back, that doesn't give us a lot of time, but it gives me just enough time to fly my drone. And it gives Janice just enough time to go shopping. So we're both happy. I was standing outside waiting, waiting for you. You were always taking time, baby, playing with you. Join us in the next episode where we go to Cozumel, Mexico and take a dune buggy excursion. And thank God I can drive stick or I would have been stuck in one of these pink mobiles. I'm sure I would have had to give back my man card. Luckily, because I own a sports car and I drive stick every day, I got one of these bad boys back here. Much, much better. So we get to explore the countryside with the wind blowing through our hair. It's a pretty good time. On the final stop, they set us up for snorkeling. Unfortunately, my GoPro Hero 5, which is supposed to be waterproof, leaked and is now garbage. Another expense, yay. One thing that did work out perfectly is we got a really solid drone flight in of the coast here in Cozumel. So all that will be coming up in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. A special shout out to the patrons that support the channel. Without them, I don't think I could do it. If you'd like to also become a patron, go to patreon.com slash cruisingoffduty. It is really, really, really appreciated. I like cruising off duty to feel like a community. So if you have any comments, leave them down below in the video. Or if you'd like to send something longer, send a email to cruisingoffduty at gmail.com. I read everyone and I respond to about 99%. So until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.